Yes. Hi everyone. I am SS Kiran. I am dealing course is electromagnetic waves and transmission lines. Okay. Last class I have discussed about the convection and the conduction currents. Okay. At the same time I have discussed about dielectric constant. In this class I would like to discuss about the continuity equation and relaxation time. Okay. Today's topic is continuity equation. Okay. Continuity equation and continuity equation and relaxation time okay then continuity equation is nothing but del dot j bar equal to minus dou rho v by dou t okay i will derive this continuity equation okay relaxation time before going to this discussion i, I will give some brief introductory about this uh, current with respect to j bar current density due to the principle of charge conservation the time rate of decrease of charge within a given volume must be equal to the must be equal to the net outward current must be equal to the net outward current okay uh, through the closed surface of the volume. Thus, the current I out coming out, the closed surface is, I will write the expression before underlining these two topics, continuity equation, relaxation time, then I out, I out equal to, there is integration with respect to J bar dot ds. This is a closed surface. Now, this is equal to I equal to dq by dt. There is negative charge dq. There is input side suffix dq by dt. Okay. Anyway, this is one expression j bar dot ds. First, I, ha I, ha I have considered this one as a one. Now, apply divergence theorem to this j bar dot ds. Apply apply divergence theorem very very important the surface to volume i have already discussed in the previous lectures in the description i have provided links please go through it okay divergence theorem now this j bar dot ds is converted to converted to volume integral now this is j bar uh, volume, this is yes, this is V. Now, divergence of that vector j bar with respect to dv. Okay, anyway, now uh, I will take off this one. This can be treated as a second expression. Okay, now what happened? There is Q is nothing but Q equal to Q equal to integral integral rho v dv already discussed in the electric fields due to continuous charge distributions in the discussion i have discussed about this q equal to rho v dv now finally substitute then implies this is different story minus dq in by dt so substitute with the place of q in with respect to rho v dv I will extend this one minus d by dt with the place of q. I will write I will write total integration in the place of q rho v dv. Okay. Now the next step uh, the differentiation will brings into the integration part. We may convert to partial format. No issue. If first you can do integration or differentiation, there is no change in the resultant, and nothing to worry. Now, finally, uh, dq in by dt equal to, equal to, I will write uh, integration, integration, now it is converted to partial, do rho v by do rho t with respect to dv with respect to dv okay now this is finally equal to the equal to the uh, minus do rho v by do t actually minus dq in by dt equal to j bar dot ds now i will write uh, integral 
jbar dot ds this is called jbar dot ds but this jbar dot ds is applying to the divergence theorem again i will write jbar dot ds equal to when applying the divergence theorem so what happened del dot j bar equal del dot j bar with respect to dv okay now now finally finally i have equate all those terms i will write only two terms one is del dot j bar with respect to dv is equal to this expression this minus also brings to the integration part do rho v by do t with respect to dv okay now finally the final expression for continuity equation i will write del dot del dot j bar equal to minus do rho v by do t minus do rho v by do t so anyway this is called continuity equation this is called continuity equation i will write one statement about this continuity equation which is called which is called continuity equation continuity current equation you may call equation or current equation which is not a big issue continuity of current equation continuity of current equation okay now uh, it must be keep it in your mind that the continuity equation is derived from the principle of conservation of charge and essentially said that can be no accumulation of charge at any point okay after this continuity equation i will go with relaxation time this is the discussion now relaxation time first we considered j bar now j bar equal to sigma e bar current density conductivity and electric field intensity according to gauss law there is expression is there that is called del dot d bar equal to rho v where where electric flux density d bar equal to v may write v d bar equal to epsilon e bar now substitute d bar in the place of epsilon e bar now this del dot epsilon e bar with respect to rho v with respect to rho v now finally del dot e bar equal to rho v by epsilon okay rho v by epsilon now here just uh, after doing this part uh, simply multiply with sigma both sides okay As actually about this uh, uh, multiply with sigma both sides now it is converted to it is converted to del dot sigma e bar sigma e bar equal to sigma rho v by epsilon okay what is the meaning of uh, sigma e, e bar that is called j now this is converted to del dot j bar equal to del dot j bar equal to sigma rho v by epsilon okay this is also very very important discussion so i will take one box now this is also very very important one okay uh, del dot j bar equal to sigma rho v by epsilon anyway what is the meaning of del dot j bar already i have discussed about this del dot j bar that is del dot j bar equal to minus do rho v by t okay now consider this discussion minus do rho v by do do t now substitute substitute okay actually uh this one okay derived from this one del dot j bar is equal to minus do rho v by do t now this is converted to 
this is converted to uh, sigma rho v by epsilon equal to this del dot j bar. I will write minus do rho v by do t. This is about del dot j bar minus do rho v by do t. Now, finally, just rearrange this complete equation. Just rearranging this complete equation. Okay, like this. One second. Give me some time. Uh, okay. Now, what happened? Do rho v by do t. Now, uh, if it is minus, brings to LH side. Uh, now, what happened? Plus sigma by epsilon with respect to rho v equal to zero. Okay, uh, I think this is homogeneous linear ordinary differential equation by separating variables in, okay, already studied in the mathematics. Now, we, I will extend into little bit in detail. Okay, now I will write this rho v, I will extend this discussion do rho v by this rho v, just simply multiply with rho v equal to, this is minus as it is, minus uh, sigma by epsilon. There is no change here. Here rho t, rho t is there. So simply I will write rho t. Okay, uh, this is also one of the important expression. And now if I apply integrating both sides, integrating both sides. So, so here rho v uh, in the uh, differentiation of rho v, then simply this is called ln rho v. Now this is extended to, this is extended to do rho v by rho v, it may write as ln rho v. Now doing same part here also, uh, sigma by epsilon, sigma by epsilon. So this is also constant. I will extend this part. I will extend this part. Uh, though rho v are also called, no, I will extend this one. Finally, I will write ln rho v, ln rho v, suffix is important, ln rho v, okay, ln rho v equal to, equal to minus sigma by epsilon, there is no change. But here, if you do with integration, if this is constant, then simply I will write T. Plus, there is a constant term is very important, that is for ln rho v naught. Ln rho v naught, there is a constant term is important. When rho v naught is constant of integration, now here, rho v naught is the constant of integration. Like this is a plus C. I will write about this discussion. Rho v naught is the, is the constant of integration. Constant of integration. We need to in detail just remember about this rho v naught. That's enough. Okay, anyway. Uh, now, finally, finally, there is expression is there. Uh, for example, this rho v, uh, this if I apply the both sides exponentially, ln and exponential, the uh, logarithm can get cancelled. Then rho v equal to, with respect to rho v naught into e to the power of, I will write as it is, minus t by, uh, as to sigma by epsilon something. Yeah? So sigma, I will write here, T by tau r. T by tau r or tr. Okay, this is tr or tau r. Anyway, you can in a tr. Now what happened where tr is equal to sigma by epsilon? Okay, if you write like this, there is no issue where tr equal to epsilon by sigma permittivity and conductivity about this tau r. Now, this, uh, this tau r is called the relaxation time. 
actually uh, rho v not is the initial charge density the equation the, this equation shows that rho v equal to rho v not into e to the power of minus t by tau the equation shows that result introducing charge at some interior point of the material there is a decay decaying minus is indicates there is decaying volume charge density okay anyway the time constant tau r now the time constant you have to remember this time constant tau r tr is known as the is known as the relaxation time is known is known as the relaxation time actually today's our concept is relaxation time is called the relaxation time is our uh, relaxation time or rearrangement time okay now finally there is one important definition is there for relaxation time relaxation time is the time to take charge placed in the interior of the material material to drop to e to the power of minus 1 percent of its initial value so actually today's discussion is there is two expressions one is the continuity equation that is called del cross del cross j bar equal to minus do rho v by do t i will give one box about this discussion very very important okay the next one is relaxation time that is t r equal to epsilon thank you keep watching i will update more videos thank you